Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom AI assistant within ChatGPT inside the OpenAI platform. So in order to get started, you're just going to want to go to platform.openai.com and then come on over to your dashboard. And then from here, you will see create a chat prompt. So if I want to, let's say, create an assistant that will automatically create posts for my school community, for example, link in the description below, then I can create the prompt right here and then pass it into the assistant. So in this case, I'm just going to create a prompt for a custom AI assistant in ChatGPT, which will write engaging posts for my school community on AI automations to save time and money for your business. And then I'm just going to quickly and easily create that prompt within the OpenAI platform. You could also just use ChatGPT to do this as well, just as easily. I can come over here, issue the same, same command, and it will create the custom AI assistant prompt right here. So it says, you are an expert copywriter and AI automation strategist who creates highly engaging value-packed posts for a school community of entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and small business owners. Now, keep in mind, ChatGPT already has a running history of everything that I've asked it over all time. So it already knows about my school community, and that makes the prompt even better, right? And we can also come over here and see what the OpenAI platform created. Here's the developer message. Create engaging, informative posts for a school community focused on AI automations that help members save time and money for their business. Your posts should educate, inspire, and encourage participation, offering practical tips, clear examples, questions for discussion, and actionable takeaways related to AI-driven business automations. And then it also goes into the guidelines, the output format, an example post as well, reasoning and examples, uh, all of these things here. So this prompt is about you know 10 times better than what ChatGPT came up with over here, right? So I would highly recommend using the OpenAI platform to write your prompt. And then from here, I can also include other prompt messages as well. And I can also uh, chat with the prompt. So I could just say, you know, create a post, right? And it will think for a little while. It's asking the assistant, which is the prompt that I've supplied over here. And then it's just going to create a post for my school community. This is just one example. Obviously, you could do this for any number of things that you can think of. And here it is. Introduction. Speed wins deals, but manual lead triage and follow-up slow you down and cost money. Um, okay, so that's not, that's not quite what I'm looking for. But I'm just going to actually create an assistant now. So that's the prompt. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this entire prompt and come over here to my assistance tab. As you can see, I've already created multiple different assistants, uh, YouTube Idea Generator, uh, Hagen Script Assistant, uh, YouTube Description Generator, which I've talked about in one of my other videos. I, I have an automation set up to run this one, which I can do the exact same thing as well for the school community poster. So I'm just going to create this assistant now, and I'm going to copy and paste in that entire prompt right here into the system instructions. This is the prompt that I want to use for the assistant. And then for the name, I'm just going to say school community post creator or something. Something along those lines, right? And then you can also select your model, of course, here as well. So I actually don't see GPT-5 listed in the options, oddly enough. Uh, but I usually just use GPT-4. So I'm just going to select GPT-4. Another thing is you can actually upload... Uh, files as well. So let's say you have transcripts from YouTube videos or ebooks or, you know, a, a, some sort of knowledge base. Then you can also upload those under file search right here. So if I want to upload files as a knowledge base, I can do that. Maybe, you know, get previous posts from my school community, download the files, put it up here. That's also an option. But in this case, I'm just going to you leave this as is. And once again, I'm going to say create a post. And let's see what it comes up with. 
By the way, most people don't even realize this is possible. This is like, you know, next level of ChatGPT. Um, and that's why I wanted to make this tutorial video just to show you how this works. So now it's created the post uh, introduction. Is customer support sapping too much of your team's time and energy? AI automation is here to assist. With AI powered chatbots, businesses are streamlining customer interactions, improving response times, and significantly reducing operational costs. So that's pretty good. Uh, I, I would say it could be a little bit better. We can obviously improve this prompt a little bit, but for, for the time being, I think it's pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at an example post here. Ever feel, feel like you're spending hours on repetitive business tasks that could be automated? AI tools can give you back valuable time. Um, let, let's be a little bit more specific with our message here. Create a post on uh, AI automation to do something. Let's say automate YouTube. I don't know. Automate YouTube. And now let's see what it comes up with. So we do need to supply it some information here. Uh, okay, this is a little bit better. Ever wondered how you could streamline your YouTube channel operations and harness growth opportunities? Enter AI automation. Reasoning. It's not really like the format that I want. Um, I think I can improve it as well. I can change change the reasoning and example. The prompt is the most important part, right? So if the prompt is, is well optimized, then the assistant is going to be very good. But if the prompt is not so great, then chances are the posts in this specific case are not going to be so good. Um, but I've had pretty good luck with uh, AI assistance in ChatGPT for some of my other automations. And while this is running, I'm going to come over to make.com here. And I'm just going to create a new scenario. And we're going to type in ChatGPT right here. So I want to message an assistant in this case. So I'm just going to select message an assistant. And then we're going to select that assistant that I just created. As you can see, it's already here. School community post creator. And by the way, you can do this on the free plan as well. You do not need ChatGPT+. Plus. It's completely free to create these AI assistants up to a certain number, I believe, and then you will need to upgrade to plus. But for the most part, it's completely free, right? So now it looks like it did fix the, uh, the prompt and it actually added even more detail to this now. So now I'm just gonna save that. And once again, I'm going to enter in my message here and let's see if it's a little bit better. So it's just thinking now, here we go. Running a YouTube automation, uh, a YouTube channel can take a lot more time and energy than you think. From optimizing video metadata of SEO to analyzing video behavior, there's a lot to handle. Luckily, we don't have to do it all manually. Thanks to AI automation, it's now easier to maximize efficiency and manage your YouTube channel like a pro. Okay, I definitely like that a lot better. It's sounding like a more engaging post for my school community. And there's the reasoning. And then, he, oh, here's even an example. So you can consider TubeBuddy, an AI-powered tool designed for YouTube channel management. So it actually mentions TubeBuddy here, which is good. Uh, this is a powerful tool for optimizing SEO. Highly recommend it. Actually, I prefer vidIQ. And it looks like they also mention vidIQ here as well. Now, that's not really for automating a channel. It's mostly just for optimizing the channel. Um, so it could be a little bit better, but overall, I think this is a much better prompt now. And all you have to do is ask uh, an OpenAI platform to create a prompt for you like we've already done. And then you can optimize it here. And it even included a call to action. Which business process would you like, would you most like to automate next? Share your thoughts and let's explore tailored solutions together. All right. So that's all done. And now if I want to... Now that I've already tested it out here, I can set it up in make.com. So like I was already doing, I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to select my assistant from the drop-down list here. And then for this, I'm just going to select assistant. And for the message, I'm just going to say, you know, create a post about AI automations, just as an example. 
you can add to this as much as you want. You could also connect up an Airtable, let's say, with a list of different topic ideas and then feed that in and then pass that in over here. But in this simple example, I'm just going to create this post using my custom AI assistant. And I could also potentially post it to school, but the module that's built in here, unfortunately, is very limited. So they do have a school module, but the only thing that it can do is invite a new member into your group. It can't really do anything else. And unfortunately, they don't have a public API yet. So it's very limited in terms of what you can do with automating school. And I think that's by design. The founder, Sam Ovens, has already stated that he doesn't want things to be automated on school. So since I can't automatically post it to school, I could also just put this into a Google Doc, for example. But in this case, I'm just going to name the scenario here. Uh, school, community, post creator or something. Oops, oh, I didn't mean to do that. School, community, post creator, right? And then we're just going to save that and run this and see what the output looks like. So this is using the AI assistant that we've already created. It's integrated into make.com for an automation. And it's just going to run that. It takes a couple seconds. And then we should see the output any second now. It's taking a little bit longer than I expected. But typically, it doesn't take very long. So there we go. There's the message, create a post about AI animations. And then if we come down to content here and text, and I believe value, you should see the entire post. So there it is. Introduction, step-by-step -step reasoning, uh, example, use case. These could also be like threads as well. So let's say you wanna make a post for Facebook, for example. Uh, you could use this as the post itself, and then these could be individual comments within the Facebook post. You could do the same thing on school as well. So let's see, let's see what this says. Are repetitive Monday tasks eating up your productive hours? An AI automation tool might just be the answer you've been searching for. That's a little bit too broad though. So I wanna actually be a specific example, create a post about automating Facebook posts. I think that's a little bit better with make.com. So we can be even more specific here. And then I'm just gonna run that again. This is just a very, very simple automation for the purposes of this tutorial. Obviously, we could add as many different modules to this as we want. But in this case, I just want to test out the running using ChatGPT. And here we go. So there's the result. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to come over to my school community right here. By the way, link in the description below. It's completely free to join. We've got about 730 members in here now and it's growing fast. And I'm just going to copy and paste that in, right? And I can easily make a post right here. And then we're going to come back over to make.com if I can find it here. There it is. And that's it. So now we can make that post. And then obviously I could just add a GIF or something with like a robot, some sort of automation here. We'll use Bender from Futurama. So there we go. And then I'm just going to make that post. I need to give it a title first. Uh, we could also ask ChatGPT to come up with a title as well. But in this case, I'm just going to say uh, AI automations. Oh, how to automate Facebook posts. Something like that. Right? And then we're just going to post it to the community. There we go. We've not a, got a new post inside school with a nice... GIF animation of Binder. And from there, I think I'm actually just going to do like a thread style format here. So I can just take the other, we could create a, another AI assistant to do threads and stuff too. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to post those as comments to provide additional value rather than just one big post. I could just paste those in as comments here. Let's fix that up a little bit. There we go. So this is an example of essentially like a thread that you would see on Twitter or Facebook, for example. And there we go. 
So now we've got our entire post for the school community. And one thing I usually like to do is I'll just pin this comment as well so that that shows up at the very top. And that should help to increase the engagement on this post. I wish there was a way to automate this with make.com, but unfortunately there's, there's not an easy way to do that. But if I wanted to, you know, optimize this prompt a little bit to include threads, for example, I could click on edit right here and then I could just tell it what I wanted to change. So please include, uh, I'm just going to say keep everything the same and please include threads as comments in the post. Now, some people lately have been charging for this. There's another tool called uh, Threadmaster over here. Generate viral threads in sec seconds. This was started by a guy named Austin Armstrong. And he goes viral all the time on Facebook. Uh, I highly recommend checking this website out, although I haven't actually used it myself yet. It seems to be like it's it works. He's proven that it works. And it's only $5 per month, by the way, as well. So welcome to check this out. Or you can just create your own AI assistant to do this for you in ChatGPT. It's really not that complicated. Um, and I would think that it's probably very similar to this, right? And that's what I'm gonna do here. So keep everything the same and please include individual threads as comments for the post. This is the, the newest, latest and greatest prompt right here. And, oh, what is this? So do not include any text outside this JSON. So it's also included some JSON here. Uh, this seems probably a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. I think I'm gonna not, not include that in this particular case. And I will show you how to uh, get credits over here on OpenAI platform. So you're just gonna wanna go to settings and then I believe it's under billing here. So as you can see, I've got $5.70 in credits and that's being consumed every time I run the automation. And But generally, you don't really need that many credits in order to uh, to use the API. I think I was like, I've only spent like 30 credits in the past few days, or 30 cents of credits, I should say. And uh, yeah, so you will need to make sure that you include that. Otherwise, the automation won't be able to run and it will give you an error about um, not enough credits, basically. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You can create as many of these assistants as you want to. As you can see, I've already got another one over here, which is a YouTube description generator. I made a tutorial about that on my channel as well, uh, basically just showing the full automation to uh, generate YouTube descriptions using a custom AI assistant. So that's another one. I've also got a Hadron script assistant. I've got an assistant for my other YouTube channel as well, which also includes a knowledge base of transcripts that I've uploaded here. And uh, yeah, have fun with this. Uh, feel free to join my school community. Uh, link in the description below. We'd love to see you inside. You're welcome to ask any questions that you have in here and just contribute to the community. And then I also have the classroom with all sorts of stuff in here. You can schedule an AI strategy call. You can watch the tutorials, get the templates, how-to guides. I've got a beginner's automation course. Welcome to check that out. And with that being said, I'm going to sign off. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace from Thailand.